Hey everyone, so you know that all I'm doing is sitting here watching the Weather Channel, like getting ready for this huge hurricane to hit us and flood and all sorts of horrendous, torrential, um, apocalypse-like things. So I'm watching the Weather Channel here while Lily Bean naps. You can see the little hurricane warning red strip from the Weather Channel. Like, it's so scary, but I can't stop watching. It's like a sickness. Um, they just had a really good tip about things you could do to prepare for the storm, so I paused the TV and now I'm going to play it for you. But it's a really good tip of something you can do right now as long as you just have some Ziploc bags sitting around the house and it could actually really help you out if you do end up losing power for any amount of time and uh, are trying to preserve your food and just um, keep things as fresh as possible. So check this one out. For this hurricane, but here's the one you need to do right now that'll make a significant difference on how your life is if the power goes out and you're stuck for many days with no power and no communications. Take Ziploc bags and fill them with water, but not completely full, and then cram them in the freezer and fill every nook and cranny of your freezer so that they get as cold as possible and hopefully turn to ice. Then if the power goes out, that ice in the freezer will keep the refrigerator cold and you'll have cooling in your house and cold food and cold water for an extended period of time. Do it right now. Don't turn your refrigerator down. Don't turn your freezer down. Just put it in there and it'll really help you out. We have more tips, of course. Check them out on weather.com. All right, you heard him. He said do it right now. Now, so go run, fill up your bags with water. Hopefully you won't need to do this. Hopefully this will just be silly. It'll be like a little rainstorm, but it's a pretty good tip. So let me know if you end up trying it and if it ends up working out for you. Stay safe, everybody. P.S. You know, the Weather Channel has really upgraded its uh, soundtrack, I guess I should say, since maybe my elementary school days. I remember they used to play a lot of music that sounded kind of like Beethoven's Fifth and Funkatron, but this music they've been playing for my local on the 8th the past couple days has just really been very moving. If you can like ignore the guy that's screaming about the hurricane warning and how the world's going to end, it's very lilting and just very relaxing music, so I think I might have to look for the download or something, but we'll just end on this note. Ignore the man's voice. Oh, there he is. ...have been issued for our area by the National Weather Service. Oh, we know. Here it comes. Currently, the temperature is 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Shh. Here you go. Come on now, that's beautiful. Here's our local... Oh, be quiet, you're ruining it. It's been a long week. Pray for me.